Hi, my name is Ophir Gabe with First Class Tax Solutions, and today I wanted to introduce a new series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's going to be on financial statement analysis. Now, this is going to be um, a new series in addition to all the QuickBooks uh, tutorials that I'm doing. Um, the reason I wanted to go into financial statement analysis is that this is going to give you the information that you need out of QuickBooks um, to help you make management decisions in your business. Now today in particular I wanted to go over inventory turnover and, uh, and I'll show you how to calculate the inventory turnover ratio and I'll show you um, what this could indicate about your your business. Okay, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, inventory turnover ratio is uh, calculated as uh, the cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. And when I say average inventory, I mean uh, uh, the beginning inventory plus the ending inventory divided by two. So uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, and I'm going to go into a sample at the end of this video. Now, what um, inventory turnover could indicate about your business is um, a, l a low inventory turnover um, could mean that, that, that you're overstocking, you're overpurchasing inventory. Uh, and this could be a problem because it could lead um, to additional storage costs uh, for storing the inventory. Uh, it could also prevent you from, from getting new inventory either because uh, you don't have space for it or uh, you just don't, don't have the assets, you don't have the cash to, to buy new inventory because uh, it's being used up by the current uh, inventory that you do have. Um, so yeah, this uh, a low inventory turnover, you know, it, it indicates an inefficient use of cash. Um, also another problem that could happen is that the inventory that you do have um, could lose its value because you have so much of it um, and if you're selling like uh, groceries and, and stuff like that, uh, you really have to watch out for spoilage. Um, the inventory can, can go bad and, and become obsolete and you can't sell it. Um, on the other hand, a high inventory turnover could, uh, could basically what it indicates is that you're selling your inventory too fast, uh, that you don't have enough inventory level. Um, in your business to, to maintain sales and this could lead to uh, just not having inventory to sell you know it, you'll have a sales representative trying to make a sale but there's not enough uh, inventory to fill the orders so that that could be bad too so basically um, you know a higher inventory turnover in general is a good thing but you want to avoid uh, inventory shortages. Once it prevents sales from being made, uh, that's a really bad thing. Okay, and now I just wanted to go over how to calculate inventory turnover ratio uh, by using a sample a QuickBooks Online file. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you'll see a balance sheet. Um, and we're really going to be focusing just on the inventory asset count. Now, you'll see that um, there's two columns on this balance sheet. One is for this year, and then uh, this right-hand column is for um, last year's numbers. And on the right-hand side, you'll see a profit and loss statement. Now, we're going to be focusing on the profit and loss. We're really only going to be looking at the cost of goods sold account. This five thousand eight hundred thirty seven dollars okay so let me show you how to calculate this uh, inventory turnover for th for this example so like I mentioned earlier um, the formula for, for calculating inventory turnover is the cost of goods sold which is five thousand eight hundred thirty seven dollars 
and then um, divided by the average inventory. And average inventory is um, the beginning inventory, which in this case is $1,000, divided by, I mean, uh, let me put this in parentheses to make it easier. So it's a beginning inventory, the $1,000, the 1000 plus the ending inventory, which is the $1,596. I'm going to close the parentheses and then divide by 2. You could also use that the average formula in Excel, but I just wanted to make it simple uh, and lay out the steps. Okay, so the, our average inventory in this case is uh, $1,298. Um, let me expand this a little bit. Okay, that's better. So, our, our average, our inventory turnover ratio is the cost of goods sold number for the period divided by the average inventory. So that gives us about 4.5 um, inventory turnover. 4.5 times. So that what that really means is that if you pay attention to the financial statements, they're a one year period. So it's as of, I mean, it's from October 1st, 2013 to uh, September 30th, 2014. And so our inventory basically sells 4.5 times throughout the year. Now you could, you could go further and see exactly like um, how many days it takes you to sell your inventory on average. And you could do that by uh, doing 365 days. And then, and then you just uh, you simply divide. You divide the number of days by your inventory turnover ratio and then you'll get 81 days so basically your inventory sells it sells through every 81 days you could also do the same thing if you wanted to look at it in weeks so um, for, for weeks it would be 52 weeks in a year divided by your inventory turnover ratio and then uh, you get 11.56 weeks which is um, you know which is the same thing as saying 81 days well it's a there's a rounding error somewhere <laughs> but uh, you get the, you get the gist of it so this could be very important for for making management decisions because you want to look at this number and kind of think to yourself Okay, um, is is eighty one days really? You know, can we can we do better than eighty one days uh, to sell through our inventory? And you know that that's a management decision, and this could really help you in your management decisions. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video, and be sure to subscribe for more um, tutorials in the future. Thank you.